This is a 1960 Ford Thunderbird convertible, and this was the last year for these Square Birds, which was the second generation of the Ford Thunderbird. And uh, these ones grew a huge amount from the first generation, where they had the additional two seats in the back, and it grew 16 inches longer and a thousand pounds heavier. So quite a larger car. This one has the 430 V8 in it, and it's just looking immaculate under there. This whole car is just pristine and um, very nice blue-green color. See the Thunderbird script there on the uh, body molding? That was uh, only for the 1960 model year, and you can see the darker green with the lighter green interior. I always thought the Thunderbirds had some of the coolest interiors. Very cool double hooded uh, dash there, and you see all the metal accents and the individual gauge pods, and the very nice long center console that runs the full length of the car, and uh, just a huge beautiful interior and he still has the trunk opened up here so you can see the convertible top the way it's stowed away and it is just a massive trunk and uh cool little rear fender garnishes there and the 1960 thunderbirds were the only year they had the three taillights in the back as well instead of the two that you saw in the previous two years still had the fins here in 1960 although they were uh subdued a little bit but still quite large they look great. You can just see just how long this car is, I'm walking the full length of it here. And uh, plenty of room there in the back seat, of course. And uh, yeah, nice deep dish steering wheel finished in white there. Just a very pretty color combination. And yeah, it's uh, very luxurious. These were personal luxury cars, they called them. And. Uh, it's uh, very nice. You see the little gun sights there on the end of the fenders and uh, nice front end. So yeah, that's the 1960 Ford Thunderbird.